y'all. Welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Today we're doing something a little totally different. Uh, we're going to put out basically trot lines in the Tennessee Tom Big River, and we're going to try to catch some big catfish. And we got a lot of sun perch and various live baits and uh, a few crawfish, and then we're going to go try to collect some shad later on. So we've got four of these lines, and uh, as we're putting them out, I'll explain a little of how we put them out. Uh, I've got them rolled up, and this is, uh, it's not number 72 line, but it's not as small as 36. I'm not sure which number. This a little in between the two of them. Uh, but here you, I got my buddy Casey Gray with me. We're going to make a star out of him. Y'all have seen him in some of the hunting videos now. Um. Uh, but now what I have done on these lines is I come off about 10 foot and this loop right here, I will put a window weight. Now this is a, I think it's a number six, probably like a six pound weight, something like that. Oh, now what I do is loop it around just like that. That holds this front end down in the water. I'm gonna give that to you, Casey, we tied good. Good enough, we can pull the boat. All right, now what I do, I've got lines right here. I've got swivels, heavy swivels tied about every six foot. There's 25 of them on this uh, line. When I get to the end of it, then I've got 50 foot of heavier rope, and we'll drop about a 50 pound, 40, 50 pound weight out there. That way that line stays in place, and we can pull ourselves back and forth along it with the... Uh, by hand and not have to run the motor the whole time. So we're gonna get these out, we'll put the line out, and then we'll come back. Let me get this off easy. We got a few crawfish in this bucket. Y'all, I've got my hooks all hooked around the edge of this, and they got these quick snaps on them. This is the way to go, y'all, for running big lines. I done done enough of it. You don't tangle them up, they hanging in this bucket. You can kind of keep up with them, so. That's where we at for this. I'm fixing to give this to Casey. And uh, I'm going to turn the camera off. What we'll do is we're going to back out into the middle of the river. And he's going to unroll it as I back out. And then we'll pick y'all back up when we start baiting them up. All right, y'all. What we're doing here is we got our bait. And we got some fairly large live bait. I'm just going to hook them. I got number seven hooks. And I'll... Uh, See how I got it hooked up? And I'll hand it to Casey and he'll snap them on there. Now I am supposed to have just enough hooks in this bucket to do these four lines, but now I don't know. And they saw we've got a few shad. We got several different, but there's some shad. Now they was in a neighbor's pond. He told me to you and if we got dead bait we're gonna cut them up and you make cut bait out of them so and y'all on the way up here we saw a guy checking his other line down there and he was catching fish so we done we done know they bite that's that trick right there you can hang out We're gonna just do all live bait on this one, Casey. Yeah, that's fine with me. Y'all, you see on that fin, like this shad right here, I'm going right under this, I think that's a dorsal fin, and stay in the meat. Don't get down in the guts or you'll kill it. But most of y'all know what we're doing. I'm, I'm explaining this for the few people that watch that, that may be new to this type of fishing. I understand that a lot of people that watch my channel probably know more about this than I do, so. I'm not trying to pretend that I'm an expert. In fact, y'all, we came last year, me and Casey did, and filmed and didn't put the video out because we didn't catch but three fish. <laughs> We're going to catch more than that this time. We was a little too late in the year. So I am not an expert at this, but I have been up here, y'all, and we filled this big 72-quart uh, cooler full and another cooler. So, Casey, we got a dead one. You want to cut him in half? I wish I had a way of marking. We'll do 
with two cut baits in a row. I like to try to keep up with what I'm putting on what hook, y'all, so that I know what I need to be looking for to fish with. So, and y'all, I'm just you know cut bait. I'm hooking it high over there. Ain't no. And we've got an aerator. I took the aerator out while I'm while we baiting up. And I do have some fairly large baits. I don't like just having exclusively all this large bait. I do want to catch big fish. Well, did you see that? Jumped right out of there. Yeah. Some of them ain't too big. Some of them like that. Really, y'all, that's just right. You catch a big fish with that bait. But being that I've got some bigger baits, we was I was actually struggling to get bait. Keep an eye on that knife while we up here. Yeah. I like it. Well, I'll tell you this knife case. This is a Buck Langford. There's links to it in most all of my videos. If y'all want a knife like that, you can go to most any video that I use this knife in. There is a link where you buy on Amazon, and it, it helps me out a little bit if you order through that link. I, like I get it. a little small commission. It don't cost you no more to buy it that way. <laughs> Not near another penny. All right, y'all, we're not going to bore y'all with baiting this whole thing. We're going to get the rest of this baited up right quick, and then we're going to go put out. we got four lines, and then we got some jugs we're going to throw out. I don't know what all we're going to do. we got some poles. We're going to pole fish. We're going to be here for two days, so we're going to try to not make a big drawn-out long video. It won't be short, I promise you. Y'all need to make a phone call. Y'all, I want to give you a good look at what we fishing with. These little old sun perch. You can tell them by this. They look like a red belly. You see the color all on them? But now most of our bait that we've been fishing with is a little bit bigger. Uh, we've actually got some pretty good size baits on there because I kept everything that I've got in the throw net in a basket. But we have done put out all, this is the fourth line, so I just didn't figure y'all wanted to see me bait every hook. And I figured you'd be sick of hearing me talk and carry on and cut up. Y'all don't, don't like hearing me do all that cut up carrying on, do you? Both things are going to go younger, though. I heard Yeah, for some reason, we drifting upstream every time. I don't know. They don't. I just don't get it, Big Dan. Y'all, don't nobody know what? Hey, you fix the dragon camera. Slam off the boot. That won't be good. Uh -uh. We can lose everything, but don't lose that camera. <laughs> Them folks will have to go home if we lose the camera. And I already know they don't want to watch nobody else. They're going to watch Spirit of the Outdoors. Oh, look at that. It's spraying all our water. We got an aerator rigged up now, hooked to some jumper cables running through the floor. We rednecked it up right. I didn't want to disappoint nobody and look too professional, you know. If you start looking all professional, folks will think you're making a bunch of money off that YouTube channel. We barred the boat, too. This is Paul James War Eagle. I told Casey a while ago, we got two boats at home. And we go fishing at least twice a year, so we have to take a different boat every time we go. That way we get to use them all. <laughs> yeah, we finna have to put cut bait on these. Y'all, Casey done threatened stealing my knife. I'm going to have to keep a close eye on it. <laughs> I got my mora out. I was going to use it a little bit, my little mora. And doggone if he didn't start taking a liking to it, too. <laughs> if 
if I do get one of them, I won't be able to bring it back next fishing trip. Uh-uh, you won't be able to use it again because I'll spot it. <laughs> Water. Alright. I guess we can undo that aerator. That board, I'll show y'all how I got this rigged up. Look, we got an aerator. Jeez. And I got a bottle on him. That's sparse. <laughs> well, we're going to have to put it down before we short and something out. We done let our jumper cables get together and they welding. They'll start welding their sails together. If you want to. All right. Well, we're going to let them soak for a little while, y'all. Y'all, we just got through putting our lines out and we decided to come check the first line that we put out earlier. Y'all, we got a catfish already. All right, pull him up. All right, just unsnap. All right, you see how we got these snaps rigged up on there? How we just unsnapped that, y'all? First catfish of the trip right there. We are not going home empty-handed, y'all. That's a pretty good cat, too. They are not, this is not a trophy yet. I'm gonna try, he'll bite the far out of my hands. Casey, I got my bait back. He didn't even swallow my bait, y'all. I got my bait back. Good cat. Look at that belly. Huh? But just keep it kind of pulled up where they go in the right way. boats coming by you got to be mindful of that line i tell you be decapitated somebody we don't want to do that not to mention i don't want them tearing my lines up either all right i'm putting it in reverse Oh, we're trying to get some cad right here. I just got one wad of them right here. But now when you hit them, they run off, so I don't know if we... No, they run. They run. We got to wash them again. What I was doing, you can see them hitting the top of the water right here. So we basically chasing them. You'll see them coming up, hitting the top of the water. You'll find them. So when we see them doing that again, Casey, I see them right down. You know? No. We just caught some. My videographer, video, videographer, didn't have the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're going to catch y'all some on camera. Hold on. Yeah, right down, right, run, right. One of the ways we get bait out here in the river, you just watch them pop in the water, you'll see the little, just little splashing. Run up on there pretty quick before they can run off and hit them with this throw net. So, what an easy way to get bait. I'll show y'all. 
some of the ones and how many that we have got, but now they don't live good. You have to keep fresh water. Look at him. It's all shed. So we put them in the bucket. We're going to use them for cut bait. Y'all, we throwed some jugs out right out here. We got one little old bitty catfish. Show my catfish. Got little bitty thing. They're stealing our bait, what they're doing. Another kitty cat. Look here, hold him up for the camera. Look at that. Little old bitty catfish. Hey, we'll take them over. A little one's better not catch them on at all. I'm sitting over here driving, making him work. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Hold him up. We got another one. <laughs> well, I don't know where to go look for that other. Well, there's supper right there. I brought deer meat, but I didn't want that deer meat. I'll take my deer meat back home and eat it on the grill. All right, we're running our noodles. We're catching a few of them. Throw them right back in, boy. Keep them from getting in our feet. I know y'all can't see nothing in the dark, but it is, it is what it is. Casey said he couldn't see a blooming thing either. All right, we got another mat over here behind us. There's that thing over yonder laying down. We pull one up, didn't have no hook on it no more. We got one more decent one, y'all. <laughs> he ain't real big, but he is a fish. and go hunt bait. That's what we've been to do. If I can get him out of this net. Well, sir. My own. Caught us a turtle. Turtle! Thank you. 
I don't want him to tie my head up. I don't want him. I'm going to be honest with you. Well, we're going to have to try to... Can you knock it loose out of him? Let me just prod it out of it. This is a soft shell turtle. He's mad. There he come. He's loose. We didn't let him go, y'all. I didn't want no turtle. caught no giant fish but we still catching pretty good catfish you want to put a hook or you done went by it hang on hang on we tangled all up back, back, back uh, in. Real good. Uh -huh. real good. casey says he thinks it's a real good we are about to, we're not taking no risk y'all i'm ready I think that bottle might have hit him. Yeah, baby. Look at here, what a cat. That's what we have. That's what we have. That bottle doesn't trick. Because we ain't caught a blooming thing on this one. We tied bottle jaw along the end of our line to pull the end out there up. We started catching fish, so. Come back on this side, right? I need work. Right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Right, ready. Oh, we'd have lost him, y'all, if we didn't have that dip net. Look, the hook's still on the pole. Never would have got him. Y'all, that's a good fish. That is a good fish. That is going to be the biggest one that we have caught, y'all. Blue cat. Hey, I'm going to lay him right on down over there. Y'all see that bottle? We just put a liter about that long, looped a Dasani water bottle on there. <laughs> Y'all, we we didn't stop, got our pole. Casey's sitting up there, won't know where the rod holders was. I told him there was two up there, <laughs> one hanging off his shoulder. <laughs> Look at that, hey, look at him. Look at him. Bow it up again. <laughs> Let me get my, oh, he got it loose. I felt the bump. Yes, it me. <laughs> That's because it was you. Well, so much for the anchor. Y'all, we ain't good at hand pole fishing. I ain't got my mason jar, but I was thirsty. Got 
that big chunk of ass in there. Yeah, we filleted a couple of the small fish, I think five, and they were just dying. But we got them in this. Y'all can't even see what I'm doing. But anyway, we got them in this skillet right now. We're gonna cook them up. And then I have got a deer loin. We're gonna put that in that there. Tell him about the season all. Yeah. He's real <laughs> proud of my seasoning. I really don't know what I was in here. They some wild herbs. I don't know exactly what I was. I know I picked some oregano and put in there. I think some seed. Oh, they some garlic salt, some lemon pepper, regular salt, oh. some cayenne pepper. I ain't sure what I was in there, but we just put everything in one bottle. <laughs> You ain't got to tote 10 shakers around with you. <laughs> they're going to be good like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're going to be good. I'm going to rake all this out on the plate, and I'm going to cut these steaks up. So I'm gonna... That is one of the loins out of a hind quarter. We're gonna just cut it into some small, little thick sirloin pieces. Skillet fry. Y'all like my cutting board? Found me an old cedar plank and all I did was run it through the planer and got some of that oil off of the uh, animal fats oil and rubbed it down. <laughs> Yo, I is about cooking slim out. I couldn't handle three days of it. But now we run them hard. Finna have to go get some more boat gauge too. We done emptied the tank just twice. <laughs> Homemade spices. I just wanted a few clear. We might order. I got oil in this. What some kind of bottle? I don't know. I'm just using a very dab of it. Won't fly. Ow. Y'all, I'm fixing this. I'm finna eat mine. I got my multi fork. <laughs> Casey put all that together in a minute to eat him a plate full. Who wants that little piece of that fat on it? I did wash that off for me. I better pray over it. it. Might make me sick. I don't. Lord, we should thankful for this food. We pray, bless it, nurse our body. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Mm. Now I get it.
Some flies are going to coat it off before you get to it. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to eat our supper, and then we'll go run them lines again. All right, we got one fish, y'all. We pulling up, fixing to go home. So we snapping, and this is how easy this is. We just unsnapping all the, all the hooks off. We hung up. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, 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 he swung that out. See how quick that come out. Lay him back out of the way. Oh, now I don't knock a bucket of hooks, too. Bad hung up. Get it. Probably a fish wrapped around something down there. Golly. Well. Ooh. Well, we lost our whole line, y'all. Last run. That bottle may float that other end up. It will. She's talking about that, unless the bottle's hung up. Well, we got I don't a... know that weight. <coughs> no, it'll, that bottle's coming up 50 foot. There's 50 foot of rope on there, the hole. I don't know where it's gonna come up. Or it should come up, I'll put it that way. Well, that is the first time that has ever happened. Oh. Where is he, right there? Mm -hmm. He's on the next one. All right, all right, let's get him, let's get him. Stop that. Stop it. Yeah, I'm telling you what to do. You don't you mouth off at me. <laughs> Sound like what is he doing? <laughs> yeah, he was talking back. That's what mama always said. Don't talk back. No, I should say don't sass me. <laughs> what I'm doing, y'all, when we pull these hooks out, we're just hanging them all in the top of this bucket. Makes it easier. That's three we got in the boat now. We just pulling bait off. Case is unsnapping them. I'm untangling them. Well, he's un unwrapping this one. <laughs> but it's Sunday morning. I'm having to miss church to be on the river. I don't really like that part of it. My one vacation for the year. We got a gar. What doest thou we with a gar? That's probably why we've been missing a lot of other bait. First gar, y'all. Let me get all these up off of him. Do we want him? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Them boys down there in South Louisiana is going to frown if we throw him back. So we might ought to keep him. So we stay Whoa, now. So we stay in their good grace. Somebody gonna tell me how to make gar balls. Y'all, we don't know nothing about that them gar balls up here. And, or most of them don't. I know a little about them, but not much.
my dad worked on a bar rig down there in the swamp, so I know a little bit about that life. He learned how to cook out there, and he taught me. Yeah, huh? He's a, full, he's a fighter, anyway. Is he on that one? No, no, sir. Y'all, we have yet to catch an out. I just felt sure we would catch one. And because we use live bait for on a good bit of it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, right, here goes. He's going to compete for the, for the, I don't know, I think that other one we got is bigger. <laughs> About the same, maybe. No, I don't know. Get him out of that net because if I have to need that net again, I don't want him tangled up in it. Good one, y'all. That's a good cat right there. He'll, he'll talk to y'all. Say, say a few words there. Yeah. He's still miling off about something. Wrap it around that cleat if you want to. Is it hung? Yeah. That cleat there, you can make a wrap around it, pull it, and it won't go back. Them things work pretty good, don't they? I'm on it where I can pick up on it. And Boeds, Already got it. Oh, ha. Ah. Y'all, we're going to roll this up. I got, I can't even got nowhere to put my feet. We got fish laying everywhere back here. What color are we putting in there? Huh? What color are we putting in there? I don't know, y'all. We done, I'm, I'm going to be, <laughs> we done filled up two coolers that we got. We, we may have to pour the drinks out of one and. Oh, he tried to slap me with that fin in my bare foot, but he did not get me. I was too fast for him. You're going to have to get your tail back over yonder, fella, if you're going to act like that. I ain't going to have it. I'm too smart to have a hook in my foot. I ain't going to put up with it. Wash my hands. Over here in this good, clean Mississippi side of the river. <laughs> Right up through here is where the line runs right up the river. You got part of the river in Alabama, part of it Mississippi. Y'all want to watch Casey work? Folks like doing that. <laughs> it's always more fun to watch somebody else work than actually work yourself. Somebody told me one day, he said, you scared of work? I said, no, I can lay right down beside it and go to sleep. Don't bother me at all. <laughs> and then you got that coming up the river. I'd about have seen him come on by wide open. They don't make as much of a wake. Them folks yesterday that was wakeboarding, they, they, was, they was stirring the water up. They got Casey's pole hung up. He said a few choice words. <laughs> I don't know if them choice words helped anything or not. He still had to tie another hook on. <laughs>
<laughs> Casey said they was one rat him. <laughs> I was trying to feed him up the river and he, he said they's a fish, rat him. He's got those now. He's as good as God. Y'all, this big dip net, it cost a few dollars, but it has proven well worth it. Because there's another good blue. Lay that like down him. in there now. Don't they you like do it? Yeah. We wasn't, we wasn't catching a lot of fish, y'all, until we started abating with that shad. And there's most everybody that I know has always sworn by sun perch. And sun perch is a good bait. I think he might be showing up. But we've discovered our better lines is further up the river. Shad is a better bait. Because shad's what they're eating right here. They used to eat it. Maybe I didn't lie. All right, now, settle down, settle down, settle down. You still got a hook in your head. Don't, my eyes coming at me with a hook. Uh, hang on, Casey, hold on. Let me get this out he of here. Show you how I feel. Yeah, he wanting to get me. He's swelled up about it. And I got an alligator gar over here with his mouth wide open laying there. I may have to put my Crocs back on just to be safe. We do, yeah, he's right over there, so sticky foot right here. Yeah. He's just laying there with his mouth wide open. I'll show you. Good God, I can't get him. Where's my pliers? We wait, got another waiting on him. All right, well, hang on. Let me let, let me let these folks see what all going on down here in the bottom of this boat. They would get a kick out of it. Yeah, he he just closed his mouth. He, there we go. He just laying here with. All right, Blue. Peace. I don't know how to get that. He still got that fish in his mouth. <laughs> but he was laying there with his mouth open. Huh? He's working down here. Is he working? Yeah. Right. Casey said, let's catch his fish. I'm worried about my bare feet. Where is I thought he was right there. I didn't miss him that day, man. I'll blame it on the fish some way. I will not take... Yeah, he jumped up. I, I won't take responsibility for this. Oh, my last cigarette. His last cigarette, y'all. He's done dropped it down there in the water. His very last cigarette. He's done begged to go to the store this morning. I would take I tried it. to convince him to go with a biscuit. Yeah, he said, oh, you want a biscuit? I'll buy it. I said, no. <laughs> need to quit anyway. I may not make him quit, but I can slow him down. <laughs> oh, all right now. Oh, Drago on uh, McClintock. Oh, John Wayne told him, he said, it's time for you to start tapering off. <laughs> you got a nothing? Uh, Let me get him out of him. And got my glasses all knocked sideways. Huh? Hold on now, quit dancing, quit dancing. We're not teaching dancing lessons in the boat right here. Uh, two steps. All right, you want me to get? Oh, we I got. Yeah, well, right. hang on, hang on. Don't, don't. You, you gonna have them? In, you got your penny loafers on? I ain't got no. <laughs> penny. I might be tough, but I ain't sharp hook tough. Number seven, all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them little old sand spurs, I might can diddle with them, you know, tough them out, but that number, that hook right there go in that bare foot. Mm -mm. Yeah, we got fish laying everywhere. And that's after two coolers full. We, we probably have not showed every hook, that, I mean, every fish that we've caught. 
I know we didn't film nothing last night. We run. Another good one. Here. Another good one. Yeah. Well, blue, blue. huh? Blue. I'm sure it's a blue. I ain't been fortunate enough to catch an out. I tried, but you know, it is what it is. Oh. That ain't real big, is it? Well, he ain't little by no means. He just he just looks small. He's playing possum. He he looks looks small compared to these other ones we got laying here. I lost my pliers again. If we would have tied that bottle on the end of that line the first go round, we'd have, made it. we'd have had to have left and went home yesterday because we wouldn't have had nowhere to put fish. I see the bottle. Y'all see that bottle out there in the water? That's tied on the end of that line. If you put out lines like this, do that. It's on about a three foot piece of leader. I made just a piece of that tarred line. And you can see it's just hanging right there on that. Just a bottle. But it holds that line up off the bottom. That's how you going to... If you don't do that, you ain't going to catch as many. You might catch a few. We putting them bottles in our feed side. Now Casey needs his last board. Roll the hook up. And he's real high up off the boat floor, so he can pull it further than I can. We lost one of our good heavy orange weights. It's on that brook line. My feelings is kind of hurt about that. Right. We're gonna roll this up. We'll pick y'all up when we get them all laid out in the floor of the skinning shack or something. them all laid out here at the floor we're back to the house we've got 23 here uh, now we had five smaller ones that we cooked and ate over there so I think this one in the middle right here is gonna be the biggest one we've got a set of scales we're gonna weigh just the biggest fish I don't think it'll go 20 pounds I don't know that though so we are gonna see right quick what this biggest and weighs and this is after he's been in a... Mm, I about got me a nose ring. You didn't want one? Uh -uh. I thought they were popular. I don't want it to do. Well, we ain't got no work hooks in there, but... we're gonna have to get him, get him. It ain't got a good place, I'll tell you that. This little old hook deal here ain't... All right, now. What do y'all say it is? I can't hold it still. 15.79, 15, somewhere along in there. So the biggest one was around 15 pounds. And I don't know if he lost weight or gained weight or whatever, but we're not gonna weigh no bunch of more. But that's decent for a trip to the river. 
Well, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed our video. Uh, thank y'all for watching the Spirit of the Outdoors, me and my buddy Casey Gray. Uh, so we've had a good time. It's been three long days of it, and y'all, we wore out. But we're fixing to go to cleaning, processing fish. Uh, we're going to put them up. He's going to take part of them home with him. We're going to put part of them in the freezer here, and we'll eat on these for a while. But thank y'all for watching the Spirit of the Outdoors. We'll see y'all next time. Remember, the best way to do things, the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all.